Hello and welcome my friends back with MSI content. It's G2 versus T1. We're going to see our boys finally smash some westerners once more and uh, yeah, let's just let's just go right into game number 1. T1 fighting. Let's go. Clapping, clapping, clapping. Yes, let's go. And let's take a look at these drafts because I mean, they are wild. We have a Yasuo for Broken Blade. Okay, okay. That's going to be, uh, yeah, very interesting. Zeus again on some range top laners against Broken Blades. Yasuo, I don't know how good that's going to work, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Oh, Faker here, wait. Okay. Boo! Five men randomly in mid lane, take down Faker, I mean, heh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call cringe on that one, but uh, yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh, G2 at least to a good start, right? The, the last hope for the uh, minor regions, for the western regions, um, to like, at least get some like wins here. Um, you have to think about this, like TL and Fnatic together didn't even get as many wins as PSG did. So uh, yeah, that's going to be something. Overall G2 with pretty aggressive lanes, right? Yeah, you would say, oh, Guma is like playing, uh, what's his name again, Varus, but I mean, there, there's and Alistair, I, I have no idea why they've picked Alistair here in this one. I I have honestly no clue. Sure, the Alistair Rel matchup, if I'm not mistaken, is like okay, right? It's decent, but that's a that's about it, right? Mid lane matchup, right? Obviously, like Tristana does Tristana things. She will push. She will have uh, the advantage. And I mean, so far, right? 800 gold lead. Already a big uh, a big good thing here for G2 is obviously they. Like somehow got three winning lanes or three pushing lanes at least, which results in them also like having push, which results them into having first move, which results in them uh, being able to. Okay, Faker here. Wait, what does Faker do there? Why did he step back out? Huh? Can't say too much, right? He literally plays Tristana. He auto takes him to death, but uh, yeah, pretty huge here for G2. I mean, here they get the double ult. Double Sui, and uh, yeah, game number one looks uh, pretty amazing. Okay, uh, let's take the headphones off. Actually, great that uh, we have, I think, is it two European casters casting G2 versus T1? Oh, great. Hopefully, we're not going to have biased cast. Regardless, whatever. That's why we are here to counteract the uh, like biased from, uh, from the official casters. Zeus here a bit in trouble we'll just chunk caps out a bit but uh yeah caps 101 uh yeah quite a bit uh quite a bit fat uh at this point here in the game but uh, faker will just uh yeah get a free plate for the roam and with uh owner in the river we'll cut oh that's the w connect okay yeah you that will be the old and sent into the shadow realm cool bye bye uh but yeah Zeus now has to be careful, but yeah, as long as he has gold card, he should be fine. Uh, obviously, there's the W, but uh, yeah, should be all right. He will lose something, but overall, I think it's a net positive for T1 here. Yeah, I mean, this matchup is just uh, not really playable. I mean, you have. I mean, this is just a mid lane matchup from like ages of old, right? Um, and he's going to set up an ult but yeah faker will get the shutdown oh we have a bit of an attack here in the mid lane caps here okay ult comes through stun onto mickey faker he, he, sadly he doesn't have ult ay 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 flash forward okay that should be caps in the dirt he has the flash faker flashes forward gets him yike also low faker no 22 hp and ah! Man, how much? Why do they need to be so fortunate, man? To get away with a sliver of HP, T1 finding picks and uh, punishing maybe a bit of over aggression by G2. But uh, so far this game still, uh, yeah, neck on neck. Anyway, let's get, uh, yeah, let's get back into the action. Lilia is a bit of an iffy champion, right? Uh, Lilia versus these enemies is. Uh, Nah, I'm not really like screaming out of joy. What the fuck is Zeus doing here? Like he's completely caught. Uh, 
I mean, he could potentially have won the 1v1 there against Caps, but Caps still had ult, Zeus still had exhaust, so mm, there's a, like there's potential, or there was potential at least to win that 1v1, but now, uh, I don't know, man, bro was way too pushed up, man. Okay, Mickey here getting chunked a bit, but uh, again, there's no immediate objective spawning, so uh, the only like objective here is the mid lane turret, which for G2's comp is not that key, right? In contrast, our mid lane turret is very, very valuable, and I mean, it's literally already dead. Uh, we're getting here a second charge. We, yeah. Broken Blade here goes in, like they assassinate, or at least try to assassinate our AD carry. They get the flash, but we get the kill. Carry with a double knockup, but no follow up yet. Again, like Faker, see if he's not auto attacking, we have very little DPS, right? Zeus is set far behind. There's the stun card from the side. Faker picks up one. Hans Summer already low, and somehow Faker gets the kill onto him. Faker just says, nah, man. But uh, yeah. Very well done here by T1. G2 with a bit of over aggression, right? They're uh, like they're strong broken blade. Both comms, right? Uh, decently glass candy, right? Uh, actually, I mean, T1 is a good amount more tanky, but okay, that's it. Ult comes in. Mickey here also goes in. Zeus very low fakers ult whiffs, but so far T1 is still winning the fight. Carrier in the back line just buying so much space. It is a two for two, but uh, actually, it's a two for one. Who? Own, wait, owner didn't die. Okay, hey, nice. We sacrificed our, like, uh, behind, right? Uh, what is his name? Twisted Fate. And we got their solo laners, right? Who were, like, that guy was the 1,000 gold lead, right? That guy is dead. T1 gets one. Mickey also falls. It is 23 minutes. I think it's time for Baron here at some point. Caps gets completely CC chained into Oblivion. Carrier says, I flashed for that. I'll get that one. And uh, yeah, deserved. They're picking up an inner turret here, but T1 says it's Baron time. And uh, yeah, it's Baron time and they're Baroning all over the place or something like that. We're losing two turrets for that. I mean, uh, reasonable enough. Who caps here is, uh, yeah, pretty trigger happy. Gumayushi and yeah, I mean, what the hell is that guy doing? Uh, EU gold or something, I don't know. This composition has like a, a good amount of errors, right? It's a jack of all trades comp and like to some extent, but that also means that they're, uh, yeah, the master of none. Okay. I mean, he tried to predict, right? Uh, it is what it is. Mickey almost falls, but T1, will they avenge their go? Oh my God, Carrier with a massive one. Mickey still not dead. Okay, now he falls. And oh, random knocked up, but it doesn't matter. Owner still alive. Carrier will fall in the end. Let's just watch it the uh, two for two for now. And remember, T1 started this fight without their mid laner. Our goat got completely like five he won once more with like I think two TP. No, actually just one TP coming at him. I am I am I. T1 here will collapse onto the dragon here at the end. Oh Hans, you have to be careful, man. That Yu-Gi-Oh player, man, he knows how to play tier laments. He will send you into the graveyard. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Are you ready for this, Caps? I, I don't know. Was that correct? I don't know. Faker just uh, TPs in and says, Yeah, hey, you guy, you you won't be want me. I'm going to uh, won't be won your entire... Uh, I don't know, man. There, He's just going to win. Regardless, T1, very uh, interesting like start to the game. Uh, also a bit of a disrespectful draft, right? Just surrendering the early game completely uh, to some extent to uh, a G2. Regardless, G2... Drafted some leads by punishing T1's uh, carelessness, foolishness, and uh, yeah, from that uh, they used that well. Played also well, right? They, I mean, they played out the well, uh, the leads well, ah, the lanes well. They got a two v two kill. They got Faker here again and a one v five. He tries to scoop some up, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's just classic G2, uh, like from all the times, right? like uh, four men in a uh, three men sit in a brush and try to uh, like one shot someone and I mean I don't know what Faker said probably hello right that guy never says anything um, but yeah I mean it's like they really want uh, to kill Faker he doesn't use anything right he uses his ult which has no cooldown realistically um, 
But uh, yeah, they're, 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 they're looking here at the Baron, but I don't know like if they know. We have a Twisted Fate that has ult. We have uh, Guma Yushi. Oh, that was a bad error. Okay, that's one kill. Oh, okay, they, they didn't really went for, for the smite contest here. Okay, okay, okay. Owner still has flash if he really wants to. And T1 could have, yeah, T1 could have played this, I think, a bit more brazenly. Uh, considering, like... Yeah, well, whatever. It doesn't matter, right? We kill three uh, at the back of this Baron here. And, uh, yeah, Faker just walks down mid lane after, again, being, like, cringe, four-man, three-man Doven. And, uh, yeah, Caps here. I mean, Faker... Oh, he has a Rabadon! Where the fuck did the, he, he get that hat from? Jesus, man. Uh, yeah, so game number one. Again, we, we start our uh, elude, or how you say that. And okay, maybe that's the moment. No, it, it's clearly not. Cap's still also attacking Broken Blade, hiding behind walls, but it's just not enough. Faker and o not owner Guma just eviscerate him. That's another one, and T1 will finish the game at, at, at least. Uh, took a while, and again, the early game was a bit uh, wild. G2, the, the, hey, they did their thing. Hey, looking for crazy picks, being creative, right? That's at least, like, that's what they need to be. T1, hey, like, I see you being greedy motherfuckers. Uh, please don't be as sloppy anymore, and uh, yeah, let's continue with game number two. Maybe G2 can um, turn up the crazy, and uh, yeah, we'll have to see what uh, what's going to happen uh, in some more interesting League of Legends gameplay here. Okay, my friends. We come into game number two, and um, yeah, the the pick ban order. Uh, this time I've not much to complain about. Uh, overall, G2's comp, G2's comp looks really fucking good. Uh, again, Hansama on the uh, attack speed uh, version, we should assume, uh, which is much needed, right? They need some AD DPS here. Um, but overall, G2's comp, right? If they if they get to like scale, if they get into a stable position. Really good. T1 on the other hand, uh, yeah, they they are a bit more aggressive, let's say. Uh, obviously, top lane matchup will go in Zach's favor. At least that's what we should assume. Mid lane matchup, we'll have to see. Um, Talia will have push, uh, at least in the early game. I think that's how this goes. At least that was my like last uh, thought about this. Um, and Talia obviously here really works well versus like at least. Three-ish champions on G2. Um, obviously, the Leona and uh, Caps will have some way to interact with him. Guma again, obviously, on the uh, Lethality Virus. I mean, I mean, he is like literally the, the Archer. Not sure why that guy went with a Jinx skin. Why? He really wants the money, I guess, right? Because Jinx is more popular. But I don't know, man. Regardless, flash forward here by Mickey on the level 2, right? We go with the absolute solo queue, uh, like aggression. And uh, yeah, Carry has to use uh, both summoner spells, similar to Mickey. But obviously, uh, yeah, he has no hex flash, so uh, just a direct advantage for G2. Uh, again, T1 here with a Viego with a Nico. Uh, not something that is reliably good, a bit more something of a like pop off uh, potential, right? Again, playmaking or uh, variants or whatever you want to phrase this. Because as an Orn, usually you really like to trade versus tanks in the uh, in the early game or like uh, like at all points really. Uh, but you just have no sustain versus uh, this guy that's called Zack. Mickey has no flash here, so if something connects, yeah, and he will die. And uh, the playmakers. From T1, Owner and Carrier with their variants, champions, uh, yeah, already get the uh, coin flip correct, and uh, yeah, very nice. Okay, we're looking at some aggression here in mid lane, everyone is there, and uh, yeah, I mean, this looks just pretty interesting. Mickey, not sure what he was like cooking, but hey, you do you, you give us kills, we smile and do the thumbs up. And uh, yeah, it's all fine. But now let's see, let's see. There comes the Weaver's Wall. That's Mickey again, completely obliterated. And uh, yeah, I mean G2 here looking for a rotation, but that's just so silly. Hi, yeah. Okay, Mickey again knocked up this time. Oh wait, that guy still has not gotten his yeah flashback. So Mickey will die here, Owner will get the 
Okay, good timing by Caps' ult there. And yikes, looks like he is getting away. Faker also gets away in the bot lane, right? He got ambushed by Broken Blade Zack and uh, yeah, could have been a bit better for T1, but uh, yeah, very nice timing there by Caps. Okay, Faker here again in trouble. Yeah, just gets uh, crushed again uh, with a very greedy pathing. Ay, ay, ay. Yike being uh, the beneficiary of getting the kills, right? Um, that is actually kind of nice. Uh, again, it doesn't matter for the jungle matchup, but it means that he's actually uh, a relevant damage threat if he actually manages to get onto Faker or Boomer uh, later on in uh, in the game, right? Carrier, for example, here has to flash away. And uh, yeah, it seems like we're getting a bit of an engage here. And yeah, first one already dead. Carrier, I mean, not really all that defensive. Faker here TP'd in and... Uh, yeah, okay, chunks him. And... Uh, Ay ay ay, Fakery here, nice sidestep, has to flash, <laughs> Again, they get Faker's flash, uh, oh, Faker now goes in, Hansama, maybe in trouble, no, nope, also another flash, so, uh, yeah, T1, like, even after, uh, like, getting, uh, like, smacked, they immediately try to, uh, punch back, I'm, uh, I was confused as to why G2 was so aggressive earlier on, where they weren't level, like, 9 to, uh, what is it? 11, right? Um, okay, hex tech flash. Are they going to go for another play onto Faker again? Faker doesn't hit the W. Cap still dies. And now, I mean, the problem is owner, if you're if you're an Orianna, you're just squishy. Uh, yeah. I, uh, owner, I don't, I, I don't really know about that one. Uh... Again, like the first part, fine, but possessing the Orianna, who is like squishy, is, is that really the play? I don't know, man. We have to look at mid lane, right? T1 here is attacking that turret as well, but okay. Play for play here, attacking Guma, but oh, oh, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. You need to watch out, G2. Wait a second. Ah, uh, yeah, wrong tower there, Broken Blade. Uh, but yeah, G2 with a massive gold swing and uh, yeah, T1, they should know about this one. The next question is like, how is Broken Blade there, right? It's like, where's the communication with Zeus, right? Where's the, the Zac? How is he like randomly showing up in top lane? That's uh, something to consider. Huh? How was Faker pulled back twice? Huh? Like, maybe my eyes are wrong and that's like, not too uncommon, but... It, in my eyes, it looked like Faker was like shockwaved to twice. Right, he was pulled back, and then he moved back, and then he was pulled back again. But uh, again, maybe my eyes are just wrong. But uh, yeah, G2 man, again, super aggressive, going on, going on, and again using their strong window here very well. Broken Blade still has his passive. T1, can they uh, can they proc it or can they not? No, they, they can't. And uh, yeah, again, 4,000, not really 3,000, roughly 3.5, let's just say uh, like that. Uh, it's a lead here for G2. So Drake here, obviously Inferno Soul is pretty crazy. G2's comp, it's not that they're lacking damage, but they have like they can run into some damage opt, uh, problems later on. Um, but, oh, okay, Broken Blade here. Has he been spotted? Now he has. Okay, that's very important. Faker has ult. Oh, no, oh, no. Ah. Rent is OP, but uh, maybe we get a pick. Faker gets flashed on, and they flash over the what is it again? Uh, the shuffle, the shove, whatever again. And uh, yeah, again with a bunch of more summoner spells used. G2 and Faker both escape right the aggression that they faced. Okay, now T1 again a bit on the back foot after a wild uh, early mid game, let's call it that. Uh, but the positive for them is their composition is actually really good at defending uh like baron right uh they have red side lethality barriers they have talia uh, orn nico is also pretty all right in these cases uh, but we are being aggressive here hansama getting attacked faker it's just like he's just going to get killed here no broken blade goes in as well i mean huh i mean why is he one like so aggressive here I mean, Caps is not here yet, but he might find a crazy angle for an old. <gasps> it's not going to matter because they have no damage, but what the fuck? Very nice old by Carrier, but 
Uh, yeah, I mean, is this game? No, it's not game yet, but uh, G2 will get... What is G2 looking at? Mid lane turret and nothing else. But uh, yeah, T1, they will never say uh, no to a fight. But the problem is, yeah, we can't really approach any fight unless we know where the Broken Blade is. And that was a pretty insane Q by Broken Blade. No way that he actually hit that. Oh man, the ward is a traitor. Faker again caught. And it's like, first of all, why do we look to contest? Again, I said we should not do that. Why? Because we're weaker. Second of all, we have like, not set up any vision in that area really, right? You look at it and you see some ward. They've been placed relatively recently. Um, uh, <sighs> And yeah. Oh, we have a bit of a siege here, Oriana. Not, that's not Oriana, that's uh, Mickey Old. Okay, they're. Oh my god, they're flashing in. That's our AD carry dead. That's next one dead. And I mean, that's a nice pop blossom, but where's our damage? I, I don't know. I've not found it yet. Uh, they're just tanking the turret and uh, yeah, Faker takes one down with the help of the turret, right? Uh, he goes in once more, but again, my gold, where's where's our damage, man? You 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 sacrificed some parts of your early game to help the team, which didn't help end up working, and then you also did some silly plays. So uh, yeah, we get one for what was it two, while also losing our turret. At least we defend the inhibitor, but uh, yeah. And uh, again, our, it, it, our comp can uh, can still play to, we can still defend, right? Especially like defending our base uh, against G2 is pretty nice. The only problem is like uh, playing versus G2's comp from behind is going to be uh, very fucking tough. Not sure what owner is doing all the way over there. Uh, when you're this far behind, there is the, there are two, there's just actually one rule. It's uh, the flame rule. You see these flames, you see these torches, right? on the walls, uh, next to your base, you, you're never, you're not going to leave them. Like, you're never going to pass them. Your jungle, no, no it's uh, it's a no-go zone. You're not going there. Outside of your base, you're, no. Do you think the enemy is not here? Uh, no, the enemy will be there. Oh my god. <sighs> and yeah, I mean, in the end, uh, like even with Faker obviously performing uh, relatively poor today, or at least in this game, uh, we stand uh, like proven right that uh, yeah the, that the variance-based champions in our comp right are like the ones that were the most useless right the Nico and the uh, what is his name the Viego. It's not carrier and uh, owners play uh, that was like inherently bad. I think if you can say someone played uh, poorly. Uh, like Guma with that one like flash that he should have taken, but again at that point the game was already in a poor situation. Faker did many whoopsies, and it really pains me to say that. I mean, he, it has to be really bad for me to admit that. I have to be honest with all all the bias uh, that I obviously have here. Uh, but yeah, um, the pick ban uh, again. G2 picked a very good comp. Shouldn't have been so aggressive early game. That was like part of their demise or sort of part of their setback. Then once their champions got online, right, the uh, like rank uh, rank two olds, one one and a half two items, right. That's when their champions really become alive when they can fully play the game. Uh, that's when they like started playing, and I mean it worked out really well for them. Obviously T1 helped them with uh, like <laughs> their like misplays. Um, again the Nico. It's a champion that really works well when the enemy team is like at least somewhat squishy, right? Uh, but in in this game, it's like where who's squishy? Like no, no one really. Uh, it just didn't really matter. All the great uh, like olds, no, didn't didn't matter at all. Anyway, let's go into uh, game number uh, three. I think it is. Yes, let's go. Okay, my friends, we're coming into game number three after a bit of a disaster game for T1. G2 continues to play well. Right? Jike, Broken Blade, so far the best players by on G2 so far. Caps, solid, handsomer, invisible due to champion choice mostly. Mickey, kind of trolling. That's my uh, my recap for G2 so far. The drafts have been uh, 
I think better in like nearly all games. The game number one is a bit debatable, but in game number two, the draft was clearly the more uh, reliable and better one. T1 had pop-up potential, right? We talked about it, but it also is uh, like prone on being like better. And uh, yeah, that's 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 it. In this game, T1 again a bit of an iffy. What is this top support? <laughs> Twisted Fate again against Yasuo. Uh, you know they have this. Counter pick ready and Camille support. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. But we have some things I like. We have Owner and Faker on some really powerful champions. Uh, Mickey with a Poppy counter pick. Very smart here. Effective against many champions on the Team 1 lineup. Um, but we'll have to see if he can uh, step up to the occasion, right? So far, again, he has been the. Like, Poorest performer uh, on G2. Okay. Gold card gets W'd. And uh, yeah, that's what we expect. Guma here gets the first blood. And... Ah, Shiba! T1 nearly gets it. And owner here. Hush! Gets a level up anyway. Ah. But okay. I mean, Zeus has to use the flash and the ghost, right? By the way. Oh god, is that cringe. Right here, let's take a look at... Oh no, owner fucked it up anyway. He could have flashed, man. You're good enough to do that. Oh, come on. Contest with an Aurelian Soul. This was insane by Mickey. Was it intentionally? I... Uh, I don't think so. I, it could be. It clearly could be, right? Uh, like, dub, like activating the W, flashing onto the Kalista while she is in her passive movement uh, to get the uh, CC and then uh, like flash insect. Ah, uh, <laughs> Faker again. It's like, why are you going for these plays? Again, like he could have won that, but the caps with a good flash, right? And Carrier waits it out, flashes forward! One more auto, please! Please, one more! <laughs> no. Why are we so unfortunate? <laughs> Faker also coming across, but Caps is following him to the T. We have all kinds of things. Faker here, okay, who's going to like do things first? Faker with the flash away. There is Caps with the shockwave, let's watch out. Hello, Caps will flash. He doesn't have flash, obviously he doesn't have flash. Shockwave doesn't get anything. There will be Mickey with a... He doesn't have W. Riverino, Gumayushi, but uh, overall... Uh, hello, Faker, watch out! Oh, wait, Faker getting attacked here with the old nice idea. And gets the... Uh, I don't know what it is, his E away, but uh, yeah, it's cringe. Mickey X is also there. Obviously, they're sending three people for Faker. Ah, uh, man. Zeus with Knight sidesteps has to use the Ghost, though. And... They're standing on a ward. Yeah, he just flashes over. That one is... That, that one is so illegal. What the fuck? Carrier here getting attacked. Yike also in the wings. But owner should be there to help. Caps is in the wings as well. So far not used the old Mickey with the Keeper's Verdict. Flash away. Faker. Uh, okay, this is all a bit... Awkward here. Hans will get killed by Carrier any moment now, right? Any moment now. Eh? <gasps> My. You can't tell me like you can't tell me like they 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 play to their A game, right? As much as you want to be. Oh my God, Guma, you are so fucking good. Damn. Yeah, this now get a bit of your own medicine, G2 here, right? Okay, play here onto Mickey X. That's the stopwatch, but uh, stopwatch. Stop. Ah, I just I can't speak. Uh, but now we have to move away. Okay, let's let's not look for a fight right now. And Gumayushi is going to get flashed, ulted anyway. Oh, he doesn't get the stun into the wall. He dodged it out from Yike's Q, and Yike will be the sacrificial one. Nice ult by Carrier, interrupt or not interrupting, like dodging uh, Caps's ult. And without ult, Oriana is also way way weaker uh, at this point. Okay, Mickey here behind us. But okay, Destiny used, we know where our enemies are, and we're all engaging onto Caps, and he's about to fall, he doesn't, uh, he used all whatever, whatever it is, with Caps, that's most of the gold, but yike, sets it up for an insane old, I believe, right? I think it was his Q, no? But whatever it was, Broken Blade presses R, and that's it for T1. 
three people fall in an instant and yeah T1 nice idea right they blow away caps uh, but yeah giving over the Baron is not the right answer can we burst the dragon hello Ra hello go take whatever Okay, Broken Blade dashes forward here, maybe overextends a bit. Caps so untouched and Mickey again gets into the thick of things. Massive ult by Faker and Caps, but G2 still with the massive gold lead is pushing forward the turret in their way and they win the teamfight in the end, picking off two from T1 with only Yike as the sacrifice. And yeah, decisive win there. Yeah, that could have been a bigger disaster. Carrier, watch out, there are enemies. And I mean, there's a stop. No, oh, yeah. Chain of Corruption, Zeus has to watch out. There comes the TP, there comes everyone. And Zeus also falls just like that. And the big troll picks for T1 die away. I don't want to be the guy that's like, oh yeah, T1, they pick standard when it matters and then they lose because that's not what they play all the time. And then flame them when they pick non-standard. I don't want to be that guy, but I think there's a time and a place. And owner, no. And uh, yeah, okay, yeah, Yike may be the target, they all in and double ult by Yike, uh, not by Yike, by Mickey. And with that, T1 is just on an inherent back foot in this fight. And that should be, should that be game already? 42 seconds, Faker here has to flash away. Will probably, uh, yeah, he will get his, he will probably recall or TP. Faker TPs. But uh, yeah, I mean, he can't stop this, right? Carrier actually gets to the wave and Faker will clear this one out very easily. Um, yeah, G2 can't uh, finish, but uh, yeah, this game looks hella fucked. Okay, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, he gets just CC chained to death. Poor boy. Oh my god, Faker gets caught. Flash away by Zeus, but doesn't matter. No, it does not. Man, they just are so far behind. 11,000 gold deficit here. Nice attempt there, or nice idea there by Guma. And uh, yeah, G2 will advance to uh, the 2 1 scoreline. T1, 1 2 down, man. These crazy picks bite them in the butt. D G2 with decisiveness, and their creative picks work out wonderfully. Like this Broker Blade champion just completely uh, like deals with uh, any pick potential that uh, this Twisted Fate has. We saw it in game number one, we see it here once more. G uh, T1's ego just as big as their vault most of the time. And yeah, just pick the same shit once more. I mean, this Twisted Fate champion, again, this time way better, but also with more resources invested in by owner. Uh, just didn't work out. And uh, sure, the Camille was fine in lane, but was it really? I mean, it's like, it, it worked out well to some extent. The Poppy pick, uh, just an Omega smart one. And again, I mean, G2 on the same page, decisive in their play. And uh, yeah, not messing up, not doing unnecessary mistakes. And uh, yeah, playing overall pretty proper good League of Legends. Uh, I mean, that's maybe not entirely true. I, again, it sounds like I'm like trying to discredit them. But obviously, everyone who spectates can say, can see that it's not, ooh, it's not calm, calculated, standard, educated League of Legends. Like that we see, like maybe teams like G2, uh, not G2, Genji play, right? They they play textbook League of Legends, like, okay, you go there, you do this, I found these minions, then you do this, then we do that, then this, then we rotate there. Uh, no, G2 is like, has, they have gank squads that roam around the map. Um, I mean, just looking at their champion choices. Uh, and uh, yeah, anyway, let's move into game number four. Uh, let's just, uh, I mean, hey, uh, we started into this, the T1, T1. We continue with T1, T1, but uh, uh, he hello? I mean, can we can we see uh, T1 actually like win in the end? Hello? We need some, we need to calm down and rejoice because actually this means we're going to see two T1 victories now back to back. Because, I mean, there's no way T1 is actually losing the series, right? That's impossible. So let's go into the next one and let's see the T1 victory right now. Okay, my friends, we come here into game number four. It is actually a 1-2. I mean, who would have expected this G2 clearly, like, performing way better than anyone would have expected. If you say something else, you're disingenuous and you are cringe, right? Uh, like, especially the way T1 crushed, like, other people so far. Uh, like, uh, T1's uh, lackluster performance especially by like faker at times like it, it hurts to say 
but uh, it is what it is. Has been a, a negative surprise, whereas G2, I mean, they like they have been using their time to practice very, very well. They've been using their time to study their opponents very, very well. Uh, because they were ready for like the Twisted Fate completely. They were ready with other picks with the Poppy support completely. And uh, yeah, now let's take a look. T1 with Kasante, right? That means actually like it's, I think, impossible to lose. I don't think there's... I, I, I need to check, right? Because I, I can't remember a Cassante losing so far in the main stage. In play in stage, yes, but in main stage, I think Cassante has not lost yet. And I mean, that champion is just giga broken. Uh, Owner and Faker again on the comfort from game number one. Knights, Guma Yushi also back on the Varus. Let, let, let him play a bit more this game. And Bart for carrier, very nice. Fevy Knight will be uh, very happy. Okay, so far neutral objective have gone into T1's stomach. Dragon plus Grubbies plus L plus ratio. Um, yeah, just a good setup for another... Okay, ult from Carrier? Misses the timing on the Q? So many mistakes! Huh? What the hell is happening here? And everything is just unforced errors, right? No opportunity to cost uh, for a G2, right? As Chaps wants uh, to go into mid lane anyway. Okay, yeah, very nice. Nicely done by Caps. Obviously has the added movement speed of his, uh, what is it, command dissonance is the W. And obviously his boots that he just finished. Let's see, owner goes in, gets a bit of CC. Faker here is in all kinds of trouble, gets flashed away. Oh my, hostile takeover extended. Oh man, this is just... <gasps> Very nice cosmic binding flash forward by owner. He will put caps into the dirt at any moment. W? 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 Oh, actually, he just doesn't risk it. And in the end, even though, uh, like, once the, the bottom side where, like, they left Faker completely alone, um, T1 dealt with G2 regardless. And uh, yeah, 4 1 the scoreline. Faker didn't even get any assists, man. That guy. Just, it's just not his day, man. He didn't even play like poorly in that one. He just was, just like, hey. <sighs> regardless, regardless. And and as such, Bart, which is a Rome heavy or like Rome center champion, is helping Ka uh, T1 and Carrier. Uh, okay, hold on to the support. Let's see, Broken Blades here. Can he get something done? I mean, they don't have caps just there yet. The Bart will fall, Faker, with a very Wild TP going into the thick of things. T1 in the end seemingly will get away from it. Very nice W by Zeus, but uh, yeah, overall, uh, especially Faker's TP was very fucking wild again. Uh, there, he also, I think he was in top lane, right? He missed out on the local gold. What the hell? I mean, it doesn't matter that the chains of corruptions like somehow went like through above whatever a yike, but. Uh, like, bro, why is my, like, immobile AD carry with no support in sight, like, all the way over there with no mid lane turret, no L, and no whatever. Okay, Yike here. Ah, he should not die. Actually, he will burn down. Oh, owner, very nice. And Caps here. I mean, I don't think it's enough, but, uh, yeah, let's just give him a bit of a respect clap. And, uh, yeah, that's... No, finally, owner can also get some uh, jungle camps, man, that guy has been uh, like in a bit of a tough situation this series so far. Uh, Jake has just clicked way better with his uh, solo laners, especially top lane so far. Okay, Jake here now in top lane, and this is what I talked about literally t like four seconds ago. Jake better connection with his top laner. Owner is here though, and again he jumps in the exact moment with the old and caps. I mean, that guy, I don't know how many children he sacrificed. Okay, nice. Piercing arrow gets the kill, and in the end, Ona also lives with a sliver of HP. But there's just so much cringe stuff, man. G2 members running away with like 2 HP. This has happened like so many times in this series. Uh, regardless, Team 1 win the fight, right? I think, I think it was a 1 for 1, 2 for 1, or something. I think it's just a 1 for 1, right? Just caps for uh, Zeus. And then, yeah, Faker gets a 700 gold in the turret. Uh, in the bot lane as well, so uh, overall quite beneficial for us. Okay, T1 here, maybe a bit deep in the enemy jungle. Owner is going to be the sacrifice, I think, maybe? Faker puts down the turret, broken bleed. Now, uh, very forward, Faker gets hit by the ult, but so far it doesn't really matter. Guma is not here yet! Two man ult! 
But will it matter? Owner gets hit by the old, but it's just not enough. Faker with a big old three-man hit. And that will be the end of G2's hopes in game number four. Faker and T1 will knock it down and will end the game just like that. Man, like Faker on these random new ass Gamble Jazz champions. Ah, man. It's like, what do I do? What do I do? Two left hands. Faker on Azir and he is literally a street sweeper because he sweeps up the trash. And that's going to be it for G2 in this game. I mean, the game has been going into T1's favor, like from. Oh, okay, they're not finishing. Oh, oh, right. Okay, okay, cut, cut, calm down. Calm down. Turn it down. We're going for Baron, and that should be alright. Uh, and. Uh, oh, man, crazy. We don't even have enough minions. Man, that was. That fight was so wild, man. We saw the full progress of the T1 lineup come. Faker, man, he mind controls Caps, man. <laughs> no, uh, let's stop this nonsense, man. Caps, like, fumbles the old happens to the best of us. Uh, but yeah, your owner, I mean, it looks completely over for him, but not every one of G2 is actually going onto the Sinjao, which makes sense, right? But then we see all kinds of discontinued stuff, like Hansama over there, right? He's the DPS of that lineup to some extent, right? And, and uh, yeah, I mean... Now Guma arrives and Faker here has the eye and it's like boom. Actually in the end it's just two, right? It looked like more, but uh, two was more than enough. Uh, yeah. Ah, nice. T1 now like completely insurmountable lead, right? The the soul is coming up in 1.2. Baron buff, six grubbies, uh, soul point coming up, uh, gold lead, everything that's cool. We have a virus that is 6, 1 and 4, right? Big beneficiary of the fight there. Uh, even though Guma arrived late, right? It's not his fault, right? It's just the uh, like normal like t trains. I mean, it's like I can tell you as a German, right? Trains never arriving on time. Ah, it's just so rough. Regardless, T1 will take care of another inhibitor. Only like a half HP turret there left standing. We'll have to see. We'll have to see again. Caps old is going to be a game changer for G2 if it hands on key targets. Oh my god, that's a three man old, I think, from Mickey. Uh, not Mickey anymore, Broken Blade. But it's not enough. The turret falls by the barrage of the minions. Broken Blade will fall and Carrier in Faker's old, but it does not matter. Faker has another stopwatch. The shockwave is actually not enough, man. I am surprised that the damage was not enough. Caps tries his best to take care of Faker one more time, but it will not be enough. And even though it took a one more moment, T1 will win the next one. And will mooring us to game number five another one in uh, two days my voice is uh, really loving it but regardless we are going into another game as i said to my friends we're going to see the back-to-back -back t1 victories let's get ready okay my friends game number five man how how the, how the fuck did we get here let's not ask questions let's ask questions instead what does this t1 comp we actually have a kalissa support finally you man you know how much I like Kalista support. Kalista and Ash support, just so good. Don't need them as ID carries. Not good enough. After all the nerfs, doesn't matter. Put them in support position. It's amazing. Owner Faker, man, just look at this. Look at this, man. Owner who is literally Lee Sin and Faker who has the. Uh, I mean, I don't. I I have not seen it yet. Uh, I've heard the rumors of it, right? The hall, uh, like Hall of Legends, uh, skin for Faker's Ari. That will be amazing. Charm actually comes out. Caps has to flash away. And this time T1 is ready with the five-man stack from G2. It's going to be an all-out fiesta here for this blue buff. Or is it? Maybe? Maybe not? We'll have to see. Overall, I mean, yike and uh, G2 again with all kinds of wild picks. What is... Carrier, why would you ever... I, I don't get it. But yike also... Like, everyone is just inting it, man. What are your paths, man? It's like, what the hell? Regardless, let's calm down a bit. And uh, let's just assess the situation. Broken Blade again, man. That guy has been performing so well. I'm really fucking happy uh, that I put him into the top five uh, for the, the, what is it, top laners, right? Instead of, like, someone like Impact or something. Broken Blade has been performing so well this series. Sure. Did Zeus have the best series in his life? Definitely not. No. No. That guy has been nearly a non-factor in like all of the games so far, uh, but still Broken Blade has like not like only done things in lane, but he has like performed out of lane mostly. That's what I'm talking about. Um, 
Yikes so far also has been like doing rather well. Now on a more carry heavy champion, we'll have to wait. To, uh, Guma, watch out, there's a wall, no! Whatever, man, enjoy your kill, enjoy it, enjoy it. We don't care, we're going to uh, beat you anyway. I don't even know if like uh, Zack playing Flash is like the, the right thing. The question is like, what would you, like what else would you go for? Oh man, he hits the E. Zeus has to flash away, and in the mid lane, the oldest successful duo, it's Ari, Lee Sin, Charm connects, Q connects, and it's GGGG. Even a season, what is it, uh, seven champion like uh, Talia can't do anything against that. Talia is now fucking seven years old in this game. What the hell? Okay, they're looking for a play onto Zeus, but owner is there. He is out of vision, but uh, yeah, now owner with six. Is it going to be still a target that you want to play with? I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, again, Broken Blade doing key things here. Oh, he doesn't get the old through the wall. He's just perma CC it, even with owner standing to the side. I mean, if you go in like that and don't get the old through, Zeus will just melt to pieces. And uh, man, it uh, again is just so iffy, man. It's like th these T1 players, man, they just want too much. Like, just back off. Or just, like, play calm. Go for the XP or something. No, I need to make the insect play. No, I need to be playmaker. Ay, uh... Okay, now a three-man camp in the brush once more. Guma walks back up. Double flash immediately. I mean, you guys are just cringe, man. We need to Infernal Soul back, so all the uh, fucking, like, brushes are going to disappear. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't open my mouth so much if my favorite player is called Hide on Bush, but... <laughs> yeah. Ah, man, just don't annoy me with your fucking brush, like, stacking. Just, uh, like, teamfight us or something, man. What a sidestep by Mickey! Or maybe he buffered it through, I don't know what happened there, but, uh... What the hell is... very nice, but uh... What the hell, man? Mickey on any champion? Mickey on Poppy, hey, That's it! Man, that guy is just... What the fuck is with, like, this series, man? So many players, it's like, dog shit, and then it's like, oh, I, I, I'm on XYZ champion, and suddenly I'm, like, popping off. Oh my god, it's just going to happen one more time, man. What the fuck?! And now everyone is going to like praise Hansama, even though it's Mickey just doing all the plays. Baker here, Spirit Rush. He's going to wait for the charm. He's going to wait for a Yike to charm, uh, to like jinx himself to death. What is it called? It's not jinxing. Pathum juke himself to death. But anyway, Faker and Owner, the gang squad, obviously uh, not as effective as this uh, G2 bot lane, but uh, still doing their part. <laughs> it just continues. It just continues here. They will get another chunk onto Faker. Ult also comes through. Faker has to flash away. <sighs> man, this like bot side jungle here is completely in G2's hands, man. They have every like form of vision. But even against the Kalista who has her W, right? It just doesn't matter because T1 can't move into the jungle. The Poppy wall slam is just inevitable at that point. Oh my god, Guma gets hit by the W, but doesn't matter. Does it matter? Revenge! Down with the Poppy. Faker here, ult forward. Hansama charmed, ulted. And Faker will not get enough. Oh man, so close. But G2 is forced to flash away with everything. Oh, nice attempt there. And um, there is the Zack coming over, but it's not going to be enough. G2, I mean, they nearly got cooked, but they had to use all their flashes to get away from that one. I, I, I mean, I'm seeing things at this point. Oh my god, owner finding caps here! Doesn't get the perfect angle, dodges still- oh, come on! Yes! Let's go! Foxfire plus Electro Q plus L plus Ratio. Hansama also forced out the cleanse, man. He does have his flash back up. Mm. Ah, close. Man, is this game on a knife's edge, man. And not... Ah, uh, I want my T1 victories to be, like, clean 3-0s, 20-minute finishes with Baron, anything. And... Uh, 
After a rough day at work, I just want to go home. Right, it's 1 a.m. I want to watch T1 victories, but now T1 has to struggle here against G2. I mean, it's going to make the win like all the more rewarding. But on the other side, T1 has not played really well, so like I might now be like worried about them. Okay, here, ult comes through by uh, by Faker, by Faker, by Guma, and oh, what the hell is this shenanigans again? What the fuck are we doing? Hello, why are we all inning on this random nonsense? Wait, Cassante, hello, Cassante doing Cassante things. Faker goes in the midst of things, assassinates the fed Han Sama. I mean, man, that guy is just him. Faker TPs into the backside. He is waiting for caps. He knows. And in the end, he takes it up. Man, that guy is just. He ins his, like, ins his face off with, like, uh, Talia, right? Just ulting into the enemy team and whatever. And then, like, we get this here. And here, again, it's like he's going to get chunked, but they don't have enough damage in this one. And hello, can you hit your abilities? Oh my, oh my. They have to be respectful, right? And yeah, they have to back away. Sadly, they don't get the kill. Broken Blade heals so much from his passive, man. Did they change something there? When I played that champion like all a while back, like if I fell into passive, I was like 2 HP afterwards. And then here, look at this faker. Boom, bap, bada bap, boom, pow. Amazing, amazing. That's why Faker is the ultimate X Factor, right? That's uh, why it, it, it doesn't matter, right? That was like, oh man, it looks, it doesn't look too good. Oh man, maybe we have this. Blah, blah, blah. But uh, the absolute X Factor, Faker comes in, changes everything, and uh, yeah, we see, we start at Worlds, right? With the with the shuffle, we see it here and there. Uh, I don't know, man. Gold difference here over time. Well, whatever. Guma Yushi again called has to flash. It's like, why are you flashing at that point? Actually, he's flashing towards Carrier. Maybe not too bad. Owner here with the kick. Yike immediately assassinated. Ripperino, my uh, uh, my Onorino, but uh, it is what it is here. Owner again. Actually, what am I even saying? I I mean, I I think people notice that I've been at work for nine hours talking to people. Ah, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, Faker here is going to pick up another one. This time, just he didn't even have to go so far deep. He didn't even have to do that much crazy stuff. The threat of him already was so detrimental to G2 in this team fight. But owner man, that guy so wild. Guma Yushi with the flash while being chased by everyone. Just in the trust that Carrier will be in range at the, at the right moment here. See it. Everyone and their uncle, right? The the gank, jank, whatever squad comes in. And yeah, Carrier with the rescue. Owner goes in gets the kick immediately sets up the one shot then he gets into the jumping castle Zeus here with the first line of interruption right Hans again is the giga tank actually Hans, he just got one shot by Zeus oh my god Faker again he he didn't have to do too much in this fight I said the threat was enough and uh, maybe I just uh, yeah it didn't see the exact impact of Zeus there uh, my mistake but uh, again Cassante man what the fuck is that champion please remove thank you Faker here with the TP out, pretty uh, pretty sad. Does it does it go into cooldown? Hello. Now it goes into cooldown. Oh my god! So much damage there by Faker and Guma. Man, this uh, this Poppy is uh, is not too tanky with Blood Song. I mean, it worked out well, uh, but he also has Hail of Blades, which I don't really agree with. I think, uh, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Faker here is standing guard, chunking out. Banshee procced, ult forced out, okay, that's something, but it's a small price to pay for uh, a Baron buff, right? Faker, don't be trigger happy, you don't need to use your ult. Okay, oh, how did that not hit? Regardless, Zeus, look at this guy, man, he's tanking to three people and dealing more damage in return. T1 will take the air off the Baron. Zeus might be in danger, but no, not really. Carrier getting low, but not low enough. Oh no, goes back in, man, that guy, man, he has the Sin Syndrome to the nth degree. Is it going to be the downfall of T1? I don't think so. They still have this one and Hans. Now maybe that is his moment. He gets excited to like, some extent. Broken Blade again bailed up by the passive and T1. They uh, indeed have bitten off more than they can chew. They still have so much damage. So G2 has to be careful. But low HP and low mana on key members. How is that possible to hit? Guma gets bailed up by the old. Broken Blade with the flash, it doesn't matter. Faker has no mana, man. Owner really, like, fucking into us there. 
Oh my god, Faker, with the W speed up is enough, man. Oh no, why the fuck did you need to go back in? T1, why did you need to, like, help Owner when he fucking ins it? Oh, man! Everything fine, right? It's like, okay, it's so fine. And then here, everyone, like, everyone is out. Mickey is dead. T1 can't disengage. Owner is like, huh? Goes in? Not only go, does he go in, what the fuck? He also goes in over the Talia rocks, which were in vision. I, I, I think. I mean, it's 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 insane what like he uh, he he did there, and T1 obviously turning to help the jungler was the detriment of them as well. As much as we can like uh, say that the quality of gameplay in the series has not been like constantly very good, we had really high moments, really disappointing moments uh, from both teams, right? But the 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 drafting or like the ideas of champions, especially from the G2 side, has been really really good. Is it something that I personally like? I mean, I like the draft ideas, the thinking, but obviously uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit more of a fan of like stock standard gameplay, which I mean, I, I like LCK. I've watched LCK for like 20 million years. Uh, I like not fighting for 20 minutes and farming. So obviously from that lens, these champions, I don't like. But from the like, like interaction based thinking i can ab absolutely appreciate what g2 has uh, like uh, like oh wait 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 do we have something i don't think we have something faker just goes in hits no charm gets hit by random shit and just randomly dies i mean what the fuck how did that charm not hit and what what yike is at Z literally zero hp check his pc how are he not dead no, owner, don't go through the E again. Oh my god, he gets knocked into the wall again. Broken Blade gets lower and lower. Yike heals off whatever, I think, the, the jungle camp or something. Will Broken Blade finally die? Yes, is the answer. Poppy also way too close to the sun. And with Faker's Valiant Sacrifice, I mean, I don't know what happened there. It looked so weird. Uh, but uh, yeah, again, uh, with looking at the inventory, right? No uh, LDR or anything on uh, like Hans. And just the Kraken Slayer and just the Cryptic Bloom is not enough for G2 to deal with Zeus, to deal with Owner. And oh, Faker here goes in. Will he? Yeah, now he gets the kill, he gets the revenge. Immediately responds, immediately pops the fat, I mean, fat, decently fat Hunt Summer, right? Faker here, watch out, there are enemies. And who can uh, stop a late game Cassante? The answer is probably no one, right? It's like he now is just dragging Broken Blade out of everything. Faker here eyeing the, the soft underbelly of G2. And there comes the Weaver's Wall. Carrier, watch out. Okay. Respect Flash. Could have gone for a Q. Uh, but uh, again, be safe. Better than sorry, right? They pick up uh, one inhibitor. Is the second one going to fall as well? Is it really need, uh, needed? Well, it's better than nothing, right? T1 here, don't be over eager. There is a soul point spawning. There's probably also a good amount of gold in the inventories that they have not spent yet. Uh, oh wait, there's a charm of... It was Faker, right? Was it Faker's charm? It, it looked like it. Oh my god, flash forward by Guma onto Cavs. He has the stopwatch, but it's not going to be enough. He's already chunky, he's already blown up. And that will be T1! T1 friends breathe. T1 friends believe in T1 because they're going to do it. 3-2 is the scoreline at the end and uh, it was uh, an absolute mess. But I think this game, I mean, at least I hope, right? When we see games like this, I hope that we learn so much from these. I hope that uh, we, no we don't have to play tomorrow or whatever the schedule is and that we can learn from this because so many mistakes were exposed, so many draft avenues, so many champion interactions were laid bare that we can learn from. Hopefully our opponents like can't get uh, to watch this, right? Uh, but this one was very, very well done by G2. Very, I think T1 came in completely disrespectful, right? And had to uh, like really adjust and really like uh, go into like the gamer pose or whatever. Uh, to like be able to uh, like do things here but uh yeah g2 versus psg a bit sad that they have to face each other but it will be very very fun um t1 great thank you thank you for the victory and thank you all for watching thank you all for cheering for t1 and let's cheer for t1 next time and some other time when it's time for msi content till then my friends